Night Out Tale comes from Tennessee, a place known for country music, Elvis, and bourbon. A small town about 40 minutes of Nashville, there's an old cave and a very wicked spirit. First, how many of you shop at Amazon? It does seem to have most of the items we desire. I have links for some discounts below. Check them out whenever you get a chance. But now, on to tonight's story. After being tortured for years, mentally and physically, along with the death of their father and the head of the household, the family decided to move away. The property became overgrown as no one maintained the land. Years later, it would become a tourist attraction, but now it was a haunted nightmare. Me and my friend decided to sleep in the haunted cave. Inside was dry and cooler than a summer night outside. With lanterns in hand, we entered the mouth. Foolishly, I knocked on the wall as we entered. I wish I never had. Into the cave, only the sound of water dripping greeted us. We found a disturbing sight, a rock formation that resembled a demon's face. Then we heard the knocking. It was loud and full of force. The echo rang in the quiet darkness. I nudged my friend and teased him about being afraid. And that's when we heard the laughter. Truly an evil sound. It was female, although very raspy and coarse. Convinced it was foolish to enter, we slowly backed away from the ghastly face in the formation. The air became frigid and cold, as if winter had blown into the cave. My friend called out, Kate, and started reciting a verse from the good book. Behind me from the shadows, the answer came. It spoke and said, I am Kate. I killed John Bell, like I promised. He was sighing more gospel as she laughed, were questioned more. Then voices from the darkness spoke their own verses from the Holy Bible. Laughter could be heard now all around us in multiple places. But they were all her voice. My friend grabbed me and dragged me to the entrance. Laughter continued through the darkness. Her voice sighed a verse from the Bible. It was about walking through the shadow of death and fearing no evil. The voice became deeper, darker, and even more sinister. We ran as the flame in one of our lanterns went dark. He threw it behind us into the darkness, and we heard it crash against the cave wall. Then he stumbled, his knee hitting the rock below. Pain escaped his mouth, saying something sliced open his leg. I helped him to his feet, as the voice begged us to return. We made it to the entrance, and I turned with light in hand. The light highlighted the cave we just left. There stood a woman with eyes the color of fire and nails very long. She laughed more 
and say come back. We were fun to play with. Out to our horses and mounted quickly. As the horses took us away, a large black dog came from the cave's entrance. Eyes burning with fires of hell. Needless to say, we would never returned to the home of the Bell Witch ever again. Welcome to the Shadowlands. If you enjoy this, then help me out. Like, subscribe, share, and smash the bell overhead. Be sure to come back next week as we explore more cryptids and legends from America.